Welcome to Liverpool, the lung cancer capital of the UK. Although this could be about to change with the council's plan to ban smoking in places such as pubs and restaurants. It wouldn't have smokers, it won't have smokers quit. That, that's, that's the first thing which I think. I think it's an impractical thing and where it's been experimented upon. At the end of the day, it's a choice and you can get things where you've got a group of people that have come out for a drink and there's only one smoker in that group. Yeah, but that whole group would go somewhere else if that one individual was prevented from smoking because it ruins that one individual's night and they've come out in company to have a good night together. Regarding enforcing the ban, it's hard enough to enforce drugs issues within an establishment. To enforce smoking would be a virtual impossibility. Like we have a massive problem with cannabis and like you know people will go outside and they'll smoke. Now I can't see anybody in here going outside to smoke a cigarette. The council's bill to ban smoking was delivered to Parliament last year. A second reading was given in March and a third reading is expected in the summer, with the council hoping to have the ban enforced within 18 months. When the ban is enforced, any individuals breaking the new law could face fines of up to £1,000. On average, smoking kills 1,000 people each year in Liverpool and a hundred of these cases are due to passive smoking. Yeah, I'm, I personally feel that's a very good thing. I'm supportive of all these measures to ban smoking in pubs and public places because the passive smoking, the people who don't smoke, it is very harmful and so many people are killed by the passive smoking. So this smoking is not at all a good thing. If we believe as a neutral person, it's a very bad thing. So it should be banned in pubs and public places. I'm really supportive of these ideas and it should be banned sooner rather than later.